Hello YouTube. So in this video I'm going to apply these mods here. Um, if you'll notice at the top of this it's got slots so you can adjust these screws and I'll show you why hopefully this will take care of a problem. Um, I don't know if you can see this on camera but this uh, stepper motor is too close to this rod by default and if you follow the rod up you'll see it keeps widening 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 and causes this piece to be over too far and again if you go from down here you see it gets narrower and narrower and narrow which uh, causes pressure at an angle and it does the same thing on this side here it's close and you can even see a little tension I don't know if it shows up on camera but I can see a little tension on that coupler and as it rises it causes it to go out too far and uh, I ran out of my black, so I got a blue one, which is nice. I can tell this is the left side. This is the right side. So hopefully this will bolt right on in, and uh, I won't have to print out side pieces and stuff. There is uh, side pieces that come with this mod, but um, hopefully I won't need them. I'm just really only concerned about the top piece. So, and the way I'm going to do this is uh, I have to do a lot of disassembly here, take all this stuff out, put this in, and then put it back together. And then we'll see if uh, indeed we can get the rod straight to where it's parallel all the way down with the with the um, guide rod. Anyways, that's what I'm working on right now. All right, some uh, things to watch out for when you're doing this uh, top plate mod is uh, luckily I had a little I have a little file set and this is a little square file and I should show you on the other piece. Hold on, I'll get the other piece. Be right back. Okay, this should work out good. So one thing you want to just if you ever get these two pieces mixed up, just remember the uh, the guiding rod's going to go on the outside. Like this one I haven't done yet, and this is what I'm talking about. Get your stepper motor hole, and the guiding rod goes to the outside. Anyhow, you need to file these little squares just a little bit, so your acrylic will, so your acrylic side pieces will fit in there, and uh, I tried to force it in and it went in almost all the way but I actually snapped one of the pieces. See if you can see it here or not. Can't even tell. Um, so super glue works really good for putting those back together. Um, but after that on this one I'm going to file it out and make sure the pieces just fit in um, snug but uh, not too tight. And it doesn't take much filing because it's almost a, it did a really good job on the, um, the file for this. Second thing is uh, I have a half circle file here and you want to just touch up the circle rod part there and shoot again I left the rod but basically you take this rod here and you just keep testing the fit for it and you want this very tight because you don't want any um, play in there so just file it a little bit then try to put the rod in file it a little bit make sure you file from both sides uh, so you don't actually oval it out or anything and you keep working it and it doesn't take much because it's almost like I'm right on. It's just a hair tight on mine. And uh, anyways, after using the circular file, if you had a drill bit of the right sides, you could probably get away with that. But the uh, um, file for me worked really well. So I guess that's what I want to point out. You want to follow these, that circle and then just uh, a little bit on the um, rectangular spot so your slide, side uh, acrylic will fit in there. And so that's kind of where I'm at. Uh, this nut fit in there well, and I'm ready to start reassembling this. All right, here I'll show you uh, the, the whole purpose of this mod here. If you see uh, backing up my rod there, and I'll just let it drop down, and it's going straight into the coupler and going right up there. It's uh, I can I need to tap it down just a little bit, but my point is, is it's nice and parallel here, and all I'm gonna do then is tighten these screws up and then put that in, tighten it up, and that's in contrast to this one here, where again it's bowing out, and as you come to the top, it's where you can't really see it there, there, it's, you know, it's over to the edge there, it's that far off compared to this one, it's like, you know, right up center, so I don't even think it's hitting anything. Just a little, 
in the back there. And I could probably adjust the base around oops, to um, get that as close as I want. But um, anyway, so that's the whole point of this mod. And uh, I can tell already it's going to make a really big difference on because my uh, rods are going to be parallel. So I don't think there's much more to show on this. I got this one pretty much done. Like I said, I just have to get this sized up, drop it in, and then make sure it's not touching up here. You don't want it rubbing on anything up here. Um, see, so yeah, I'll probably just drop it straight down to where it's not touching, but it's almost touching. And, uh, and then just tighten that all up. Anyways, I uh, thought you'd like to see this mod, and uh, I give it a thumbs up there. It looks like it's going to work out well. Uh, one thing I forgot to mention is I've got a belt tensioner. You want to make sure you're, this is nice and loose when you're doing this adjustment so, you, so everything can move around. You don't want any, any tension on any of this stuff when you're adjusting it. Anyways, I hope this makes sense. If you like this, give me a thumbs up and if uh, you subscribe, you'll see more videos as they come out. Thank you for watching.